We're gonna change location. <laughs> Looks like the whole place is filled with ampelarias and nothing else. So we're gonna go to look for another location where we probably might find the begonia bite that we are looking for. Yeah, this one here. Oh, compared to the black eh? smaller ones. They are bigger, but yeah, <gasps> they are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at their wings. This one produces really sweet honey. The black, the tiny black ones produce sour sweet honey. How cute. stop by some weird looking road and explore the area hi guys first thing I saw is this cute wild picture plants there's another one here so cute sometimes they are called the monkey cups oh no so cute there are a few more here there's actually a lot around this area see there's another one and there are some more the other side not sure what are these but they look like berries Yeah. This color is very nice. So nice. It's filled with water. Let me put it back nicely. Inside got water, huh? Yeah. There's plenty of it on the ground too. <gasps> All the way here, look. Yeah, everywhere. So there are plenty in a while. This is very common. There are very common species here. Just mm. that they come in variety of colors. Another one here. So cute. And the view is amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the mountain view. We have yet to see any begonias. Lots of ferns, common apintis. So far, we only see like a lot of the ampularia. Yep. And there's a new type of fern too. They're all together. Is that like another type? The That's cup the is longer. Common mirabilis. This one. Yeah, that's the common one. Oh, no so species. cute. Ampulare is smaller and rounder and yeah. They are not as long and rounder. Oh my goodness! Yeah. More over here! Two in one, we have the Mirabilis and the Ampelaria together. Yeah! Coexisting. Oh my god! Oh look at that one! So red! Yeah. And there's some more over there.
This place is Ampularia heaven. You see them everywhere. The whole place is covered by them. Yep. Thumbs on the wall. Look at that. No yep. one. I saw a really red one over there. There's a really red Ampularia here. The whole thing is red. It's cool. I can't get any closer because it's quite high up. It's really nice, isn't it? There we go. Now we're going to explore a new trail. So that's the trail we are going for. And now I'm just taking a break. Today's trip was kind of rough for me. Um, because of the high altitude I think because now we are up high in the mountains and I on the way up I do feel like a bit queasy nauseated by the car trip so now I'm feeling a lot better and now we're just taking a break and later on we're gonna head down to the other trail want to find something interesting and nice you're gonna have to dirty yourself oh. get bitten by mosquitoes and probably leeches as well They say it's really hard to find them, but so far, if you really know where to look for them, it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. But I do acknowledge that they are still a very rare begonia species. Yes. And one of the most beautiful ones. Look at the size. Oh my gosh. The one we saw the other day, it's way bigger. Mm -hmm. As you can see right beside me, we have the begonia bite right here. And as I said before, I'm quite surprised that it's actually not so hard to find them if you know where to look for but still it's really very rare to see them the reason is because just because you find them here you don't see them elsewhere throughout this hill this is the only location that I can spot a few lying around so it's safe to say that they're endemic to only a certain small uh, micro habitat and for that reason, I'm keeping this um, location a secret so that um, to avoid them being poached by people and hopefully next time we come back right here we can still see them around and hopefully see them have babies too and propagate by itself in a while. Another reason is also because the begonia bite and other begonia species in fact are actually protected by law so no one's allowed to actually have or sell them. So let us enjoy them up close via video footage instead since we cannot keep them. Another closer look. This particular one here is a bit different from the rest I saw from the other two locations. This one is not as red as the other one. The color is actually a bit darker. you can see but still this is a very beautiful plant I'm very excited because this is not the first time Josie and I found begonia by in Sarawak 
This is actually the third location, the third known location to us. And we are very excited because Begonia Bai is actually very rare. It's the one of the newest species described from Sarawak. Beautiful. What I like about them is that they're hairy. You see that? They're covered with reddish magenta colored furs or bristles. Very beautiful. Another fascinating thing about this species of begonia is that begonia bi only grows up to 8 inches tall unlike other begonia species which may reach to 1 meter in height. So this is another very good terrarium species. Beautiful isn't it? This is always one of my favorite begonia. There's another baby. That's very cute. Yeah, look at the size. Let's oh my gosh. The things beside it so that you can take a closer look. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh wow, that's very cute. Compared to my finger, it's so cute. Yeah. It's tiny. Although it's not as red. Yeah. Well, the, when they grow, oh, bigger, so cute. Or become 